In 2010, Joseph McStay, aged 40, and his wife Summer, aged 43, lived in Fallbrook, California with their sons, Gianni, aged 4, and Joseph Jr., aged 3. Joseph owned and operated Earth Inspired Products, a company that built decorative fountains, and Summer was a licensed real estate agent. On February the 4th, 2010, at 7.47pm, a neighbour's surveillance system captured the bottom 18 inches of a vehicle, thought at the time to be the McStay family's 1996 trooper. In the surveillance recording, the vehicle's occupants could not be seen. At 8.28pm, a call was placed from Joseph's cell phone to his business associate, Charles Chase Merritt, which went to voicemail. Merritt later told police that he ignored the voicemail because he was watching a movie. Joseph's cell phone pinged a tower in Fallbrook. Over the next several days, relatives of the McStays unsuccessfully tried to contact the family. On February the 13th, Joseph's brother Michael travelled to the McStay residence, and upon finding an open window in the back, climbed in and gained entry to the home. Michael did not find any of the family at home, and their two dogs were in the backyard. On February the 15th, Michael phoned the San Diego County Sheriff's Department and reported that his brother and his family were missing. Officers arrived at the home and requested a search warrant, executed on February the 19th, 2010. Although a search of the house found no evidence of a struggle or foul play, there were indications of a hasty departure. A carton of eggs had been left on the counter and two child-sized bowls of popcorn sat on a sofa. During the investigation, the police learnt that around 11pm on February the 8th, the family's trooper had been towed from a strip mall parking lot in San Diego near the Mexican border. It was believed to have been parked there between 5.30 and 7 that evening. The car's location from February the 4th to February the 8th remains unknown. After their disappearance, it was speculated that the McStays left voluntarily since investigators found searches on the family's computers for what documents the children need for travelling to Mexico and Spanish language lessons. Because their car was found so close to the Mexican border, police reviewed surveillance footage of the pedestrian gate into Mexico. Video recorded the evening of February the 8th and released on March the 5th showed a family of four resembling the McStays crossing the border. On February the 19th, California police notified Interpol to be on the lookout for the family. In April 2013, the San Diego Sheriff's Department announced that they believed that the McStays travelled to Mexico voluntarily. Unconfirmed sightings of the family were reported in Mexico and elsewhere. Relatives of the McStays doubted that they would travel to Mexico, saying that Joseph and Summer avoided the country because of the safety threat posed by recent drug wars. Other critics of the theory noted that the McStays had more than $100,000 in bank accounts with no withdrawal of funds in preparation for a trip and their accounts were untouched after their disappearance. Summer's sister stated that her passport was expired. Although it is possible for a US citizen to enter Mexico without a passport, one is required to re-enter the United States. Investigators and the public also focused on Merritt, who had been the last known person to have had contact with Joseph, and the first to notice his disappearance. According to state records, Merritt had felony convictions for burglary and receiving stolen property. His most recent felony conviction in 2001 was for the theft of $32,000 worth of welding and drilling equipment from San Gabriel Valley Ornamental Ironworks. 
an acquaintance of Merritt's told a San Diego reporter, I think police should look at him and anyone associated with him. In 2013, Mary acknowledged he had spent more than an hour with Joseph the day that the McStay family went missing. Mary, who reportedly was the last person Joseph called from his cell phone, also said that he had passed a polygraph test and did not know anything that could help solve the mystery of the family's disappearance. When asked if he thought Mary was a suspect, Joseph's father Patrick said I have to have faith in Chase because I have to have faith in my son. I believe that Joseph trusted Chase and believed in Chase. Do I think Chase is involved? I don't think so and I truly hope not. Merritt said that he might write a book about the family alleging that Summer had anger issues and that Joseph had been ill for some time with a mysterious ailment. Joseph's family confirmed that he had an unexplained illness and that Summer was possessive of her husband, but they called Merritt's suggestion that she was responsible for his illness unfounded. Patrick said, I truly believe she loved my son. On November the 11th, 2013, a motorcyclist found four sets of human remains buried in two shallow graves in the desert near Victorville, California. Two days later, two sets of remains were officially identified as those of Joseph and Summer McStay. The deaths were ruled a homicide and San Bernardino County authorities said they believed the family died of blunt force trauma inside their home, but declined to discuss specifics of the deaths or a motive. On November the 5th, 2014, detectives from the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department arrested Merritt in connection with the deaths of the McStay family after discovering that his DNA had been recovered from their car. His arrest was announced on November the 7th, 2014. Merritt was charged with four counts of murder and the district attorney sought the death penalty in July 2015. Merritt's defence attorney filed a request to have the case dismissed because of the wording used by the prosecution when the charges were filed. According to the arrest warrant affidavits filed in the case, autopsies concluded that all four victims had been beaten to death with a blunt object and investigators believe the murder weapon was a three-pound sledgehammer which was found in the grave containing the remains of Summer and their son. Investigators testified they believed the victims were tortured before they were killed. Prosecutors alleged that Merritt had a gambling problem and killed the McStay family for financial gain they said that he wrote cheques totaling more than $21,000 on Joseph's business account in the days after the family was killed, and then went on a gambling spree at nearby casinos, where he lost thousands of dollars. Merritt's trial was delayed as he had repeatedly fired his attorneys, or attempted to represent himself. As of February 2016, he had gone through five attorneys. The trial finally began on January the 7th 2019 in a San Bernardino court with both sides making opening statements. On June the 10th 2019 a San Bernardino County jury found Mary guilty of murdering the McStay family. On June the 24th, the jury recommended that Merritt be sentenced to death. The court upheld the jury's recommendation and Merritt was sentenced to death on January the 21st, 2020.